Hello, my name is Sam and welcome to this wonderful tutorial on how to install and activate plugin in Adobe Audition CX6. So before you proceed, there are a lot of things you have to take note. You should know that Adobe Audition CX6 comes with a lot of plugin that is installed from the manufacturers. It's installed on the software that you can use to make our audio sounds better. But sometimes you might need to install some extra plugin to make our work to come out wonderfully and perfectly just the way we want so we are going to take a look at how we are going to install all this plugin and to make them function in adobe audition cxs so stay tuned and let's get straight into that now it's very easy for me to make you guys know that there are a lot of things you have to conserve when to install plugin in adobe audition so the first one we we are going to talk about is that there are free plugin and paid plugins. We have some free plugins for some big big works. We have paid plugins that you can just install and you get your subscription for less than a hundred dollars or something lesser than that. And you can get free plugins, something like Isotope and some other plugins. Now, there's another thing, a very important thing we have to take note is that there's only one version of Adobe Audition CX and that is 32 bit. So, whenever you are installing any plugin for your adobe audition make sure you install 32 bit this is very important because there's no other fashion your system might be 64 bit but i bet you the adobe audition your system is actually 32 bit so the last one you should take note is that adobe audition CSC supports vst and vst3 plugins so let's learn how we are going to install a plugin and how to make it function on our adobe audition Okay, this is my Adobe Audition interface. What you wanna do is to yeah, okay, here we have file, edit, multi-track, clip. But today we are not talking about how to use Adobe Auditions, you just want to install our plugin. So what you wanna do is to come to effects. After we finish installing our plugin, we are going to see most of them in VS3. But let's go to audio plugin manager. Now you can see that there's nothing here. I didn't have any plugin installed on my Adobe Audition and if I scan for plugin here you can see there's no plugin so let's just okay and let me now this is my plugin the one I want to use for this tutorial it's called the vibrate use it to reduce vibration maybe you take your recording in a room or in a hall and there's too much vibration so you can use this plugin to reduce that so I'll just go and install this. You wanna click next? Next. Now this is where the main work starts. Where you are supposed to choose the right thing you're supposed to install for our system. Now I told you earlier that Adobe Audition only has one fashion, which is 32 bits. So let's just select 32 bits for first 32 bits. You didn't actually need AAX. Let's just install first 2 and first 3. Don't forget they are both 32 bits. You wanna click next, next, and install. So finish. So that's this. We are finished installing our plugin. So let's go back to Adobe Audition. So we come here back to to effects come to plugin manager and let's come for a plugin so boom this is our plugin which is divabrates the status is working and the type is what vst3 as i said earlier mm -hmm. you're going to see most of this all vst in your plugin so just let's just click ok so i'm going to use this plugin now let me just quickly bring out let me bring this out this is my audio, let's play it first. Okay, let's come to effects. So we can see in our first city, we see this pop up restoration account digital, and this our plugin. Boom! So here yeah, you can you can tweak your audio the way you like and use the plugin. So you can enjoy a plugin once it's working so thank you very much and 
Wow, you are done for this tutorial. I'm going to send the next tutorial. Don't forget to comment and like the video and subscribe. See you later.